Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? How are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys can tell that I'm happy, right? That's because I just finished filming two videos. One is for this hair and one is a sit-down video. And I'm, ha and I'm very happy, okay? Um, Nelo and her kids are actually in my house. They came earlier, but because I was filming, I couldn't go and, you know, say hi to them. No, actually, I said hi to them, but I couldn't stay with them. So I'm going now to go and tell them that I'm done because my kids went to play outside and I was like, they were making noise at my window. I said, eh, 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 eh. You see noise? You see noise? Noise is something that I'm still... This is how many years now after having kids? This is my sixth year. Cora will be six years next year. So, give or take, five years plus. But noise is something that I still cannot deal with. I can't... I really can't handle. Because if you guys don't know... Anyway, I think I'm going to sit down and talk to you guys about this topic, okay? About noise. About my biggest challenge as a mom... Actually, yeah, one of my biggest challenges as a mom, I'm going to tell you guys about it in today's video. Today's vlog is actually a vlog. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about it later on. But yeah, let me just start this vlog. Let's go and know what Nelo and her kids and my kids are up to. Let's go. Who is doing my chat? What is it? What is it? Whatever she wants, give her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Okay, so can I come and move? Uh, give her. Everybody's sitting out like that. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, leave her, just leave her. Why is everybody gathered around Cora like that? Cora, put it where everybody can watch now. Hmm? Even like, see, even Adana wants to watch. Come on, put it where everybody can watch. Um, Elizabeth, or please come and arrange this in such a way that they can all sit and watch. See those ones standing. Hi, Cora. Hi, Eva. Hi Kaito. Hi Kobe. Hi Adana. Hi. I don't know. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know you? So I just finished cooking my food and yeah, cleaning the kitchen and all of that. Anyway, I'm so exhausted. Today has been a very eventful day for me. First of all, I went to the market. I went to my one, which I haven't been to in a while. But I went to my one. I went to Nelo. Then from there, we went to buy some food stuff. The one I showed you guys. And you guys see, I now remember why I don't buy things in bulk anymore. Why I really don't care because it's not like it's significantly cheaper. To be honest, it's not it's not significantly cheaper, and it's also stressful. Anyway, I was able to get some things. Not everything I wanted to get because I, I just couldn't cope. Although rain was falling, sharp, but even aside the rain, I just couldn't cope with the way everywhere was. I just bought mostly fish and in fact I bought them from just one woman. I bought fish, crayfish, stockfish and all of that. Then I came back, then I cooked my soup, okra soup for my kids, mostly for my kids because they like okra soup the most. Those things are mine. They're from my office. Eva, can you please leave my office please? Do whatever you do, put that in her mouth. Can you leave my office now, please? Put this in. No, 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 no. Ah! 
No, what? You don't want to leave my office. No. Why? Because I find your office. But if I go upstairs now, people will leave here. Hmm? Why? If I go upstairs, will you, will you still stay here? You will not come and meet me upstairs. Me, I will meet you upstairs. Why will you come and meet me upstairs? And we can do whatever we want to do downstairs here. You can't do everything you want to do downstairs here. <laughs> They've gone. You guys, one of the things I struggle with the most when it comes to being a mom and having kids is actually not having my alone time when I want to, okay? Like when I really want, sometimes I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed out, I just need to be alone. That is when my kids will be in my space. This one has still not left. Okay, no, it's a marriage. I'll bring it. I'll be a little bit. I'll just, I just love that time to myself where I'll just stay on my bed and just sleep and write, you know, journal, make notes, make lists, organize my life. I really miss that though. I really miss that. Like, I mean, I love having kids. I, when I say I miss that, I mean I miss it. I miss it once in a blue moon. It's not like it's all the time. But anytime I miss it, I really miss it. I'm someone that I love to be quiet. Even, even with my loved ones, eh? Some people, when, when they're with their loved ones, they just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Me, when I'm with my loved ones, okay, okay, as, aside my mom, yeah, and my sister. Well, my sister, not really, but my mom, me and my mom cannot, <laughs> we cannot stay without talking. <laughs> but even with my loved ones, generally, as long as we're in the same space, I can feel that you're in the same space with me. Like, I can just go to my husband's office and sit down, or he'll come here and sit down with me, and we'll just be walking, doing our own things. We're not even talking to each other, we're not even concerned about each other, but we're just in the same space, and it's okay for me. We can be like that for hours, and I'm fine, okay? It's okay for me. We don't have to always talk, we don't have to always, you know, be touching each other or whatever. Just, you're in my space, and we are good, you know? So, even with my kids, sometimes, sometimes I'm okay with just being in the same space with them, if they are watching their tabs, you know, maybe Sophia is sleeping or she's just playing and everybody's quiet, okay? I think it's quietness that I miss, that stillness. I miss it a lot because uh, Nigeria, first of all, is a noisy place. I keep saying, oh, I want vacation, I want vacation. But even the sound of vacation sounds like stress to me. Like, I just want peace and quiet, like that stillness. Ah. I think I, I, I try to get it in once in a while. Um, when my kids are in school, maybe Sophia is sleeping, I try to get that quietness. But because I'm always busy on YouTube, you know, trying to film a video or edit, or edit a video, I don't really have it as much. But sometimes I try to sneak it in, but like I said, it's not usually when I really need it. Like when I'm, I'm exhausted and I've run out, and even when I get it, I don't get it for as long as I want, okay? The only way I can get it now is if I wake up early in the morning. But I sleep late and sometimes I stay awake in the night checking my kids and this and that. So waking up early in the morning is not really an option. Like I would not be asking myself, do I need my quiet time or do I need my sleep? And most times I need my sleep more. So I just take my sleep. But anyway, let me know in the comment section if you guys can relate. I decided to just voice it out because some of these things, the reason why I like voicing out things like this is that I'm very sure one person at least can relate. There's a mom out there that can relate. But sometimes because we don't voice these things out, all of us just carry it in our hearts and just be walking up and down, okay? So if you can relate to me, if you want to vent, my comment section is open. Come and vent, come and relate. <laughs> come and tell me if you relate to just wanting quiet but not getting it when you want it and for as long as you want it. Yeah, it's Pap. Pap. You guys, I've talked about this brand before, Sima Pap. She has spoiled me so much now that I don't even bother making Pap for Sophia. I just buy from her anytime they finish and yeah I like the pack it comes in and it's freshly made you can see that it's freshly made it's still I don't know how to explain it but you can see that this is fresh pap it's not pap that has been stored in a freezer or whatever yeah it's not like storing pap in a freezer is bad because I'm actually going to store this once in a freezer but I like the fact that I know that she made it either today or yesterday max two days ago okay so when i'm starting to my fridge i know that it's in my hand that the thing has stayed and it hardly stays oh. before a month now all these things will finish sophia drinks pap a lot <laughs> you know instead of me to go to the supermarket and go and buy the one that has been in their freezer for a long time i don't even know how long it has been there i love buying from this brand okay i'm going to leave her link in the description box her instagram handle and her phone number so that you can go and order pap for your babies so stop stressing yourself okay stress yourself if you want to but Trust me, stop touching yourself. These are different flavors of pap. Most times when we make pap, we make just the normal 
um tom, no, not on brown self just the mixed grain which is basically corn millet and guinea corn but her own she has the one that is fruity fruity pop this one has apple it gets strawberry it has beetroot and it has banana okay then we also have the weight gain pop this one has rice and it has nuts okay and it has soya beans okay this one tato nuts tato nuts tato nuts this one has potatoes it has granuts and it has dates then this one skin glow pap <laughs> and the name is funny skin glow pap this one has carrots it has almond hmm. then this is the plain one okay so why do you want to stress yourself making all these different varieties so if you just go and buy from someone that has already made it easy for you package for you if you're in port harcourt go and buy this pap okay and thank me later make sure you thank me later because i'm sure what i'm i'm recommending to you guys i can see my kitchen my kitchen is still very neat everything is still the way it's supposed to be everywhere is neat okay that's not supposed to be on, on that fire but i think there's water inside but just look at how my kitchen is still looking very good let me come to the sink i know there's something to wash in the sink but okay the kids just finished eating that's sophia's plate she ate beans so you guys can see now generally things are still as neat as you know they were or they used to be and i'm happy because i want them i want them one of the biggest headaches i have with having other people living in your house is things are never the way you you arrange them you arrange them if you arrange things one way they will come and scatter it they come and put things on their head but this time they have tried i'm sure if i open the shelves sir uh, if I open some shelves, I'm sure I'm going to vex or some drawers. I'm sure I'm going to vex, but let me not. Let's not go there. On the on the outside, on the surface, <laughs> on the outside of the surface, the kitchen still looks very neat. Anyway, I just came here to blab. I want to go and have my bath now. It's already past two. No, let me just wait, Smosha. So I'll have my bath and then I'll head over to Nelo's house for games night. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. But I'm looking forward to having so much fun. I beg, I beg, I beg. I, like you can't tell me nothing. I'm going to enjoy myself today. So anyway, let me pack this pap and I'll see you guys later. Sasa, cutie, how are you? Cutie, yeah, cutie, 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 cutie. Mwah. You're so beautiful. Mwah. Let's go. Mwah. the first time in years why do you want to put your tooth under your pillow or your bed that's that's the only reason it's not because of tooth fairy yeah sure <laughs> because tooth fairy does not good please ignore the background noise i don't know if you guys can hear me over the background noise but please if you can hear it just you guys understand that and i just day anyway um, i'm about to go out now this is like actually a few days later i want to go and collect the rest of cora's uniforms then i want to go to the market i want to cook stew yeah we have soup and other things but i want to cook stew <sighs> you guys i've closed my windows so you can see what happens when you close your windows yes the noise will be less but the lighting will be the light will be lower or the lighting will not be lighting will be off basically because my windows are kind of tinted and yeah i want to thank you guys about your feedback on my last video my video about um buying versus renting versus building a house you guys the comment section was lit like i really loved that video and i love the comments i love the engagement i love the argument and the counter argument you know not argument but yeah argument not yeah argument <laughs> 
as in the points you guys raised you know and the counterpoints that other people raised as well so i want to ask you guys if that is the kind of content that you want me to be bringing once in a while i know you people like money investment kind of content and i like them as well the problem is i'm not an expert so <laughs> i have to really talk on topics that i am comfortable on um knowledgeable about i can't just come and be giving you guys investment topics like back to back because i'm not really a, yeah i'm not a guru or anything like that anyway but let me know in the comment section if you like talks like that and if you do videos like that and if you do then also leave other video ideas that you like that are related to videos like that let me know other video ideas that you want to see on this channel and i'll make sure to you know film them and stuff like that you guys know that any videos you guys record you guys ask me to film most times i end up filming i'm not filming that month i'm not filming the next month but somewhere down the line i'm going to film it and that's because i i try to you know make sure i give you guys the best so it takes time sometimes to gather enough information anyway even my husband liked the video he had he told me like the video that it was really well-rounded so we decided that for his next year appearance you guys know he appears once a year okay <laughs> sometimes twice but once a year he sits down with me to make videos so for his next appearance we might address some of the points many people raised in the comment section of that video and talk more about investment and money and doubling your money and making more money and losing money and you know stuff like that okay so yeah i'm off to my kids school thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys